Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually get high stat armor. Now, you lot have been asking me a long time to do a tutorial on this, on a simple way to get high stat armor. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the easiest methods and ones you can do each week to get high stat armor, the sort of armor pieces you need to get them triple 100 builds, which is going to help overall. But before I do start with today's video, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe drop a like on today's video it does help out a lot i know the previous videos have done really well so i do really appreciate that and with that said let's jump straight into it massive shout out to blazing boost for answering today's video if you guys need to get anything destiny 2 related if you're struggling with any end game content this is a place to check out they offer a sherpa service which will mean you won't get banned for using this service like other sites that use recovs this is a sherpa service where someone will go through the raid teach you how to do it so then you can teach other people now they have a trust pilot with over 30,000 reviews all five star and if you do use unstoppable 7 at checkout you will get a 7% discount so for this method guys where we're going to want to head is over to the tower so launch that up right guys so pretty much a lot of people do not know this because in lightfall it has changed now usually each week they would sell a standard set of gear however if you go over to the vendors and you've got some engrams so let's go over to zavala if you look at the bottom we do have focus decoding and as you can see they are selling armor pieces now what you can do to actually sort of contribute to improving the stats or the stats you want if you head on over to your ghost you can actually put on a discipline or sort of any armor you guys want if you want strength intellect resilience you can put that on now the best way to do this is for me if you're after like recovery resilience and discipline if you put discipline on it will count for the bottom three stats now if you guys were to put recovery on basically the other stats will be higher on the bottom three categories so like intellect strength so if you're after re resilience recovery i'd always recommend putting discipline on and i'll show you why but if you head on over to zavala and go over to focus decoding what you can do is simply buy these and as you can see it says focusing with a high discipline stat due to equip ghost mod so we're going to pick up a chest piece now it is only one engram we'll pick up a few and i'll show you now so as you can see that did drop with pretty much really good stats recovery discipline wise a really good chest piece i'm probably going to keep that just in case we do need it for a build and that one there as you can see high mobility high high discipline which is really good for a build now stats wise it will drop pretty low i've had a few 60s off this though so they're still pretty good it's just chance but like i'm saying these stats these high stats sort of form is pretty much for them builds that you guys need certain attributes for if you're looking for overall good armor it's probably not the best however if you're looking for high stats in certain categories for a certain build it definitely does help let me see you can also go to the legacy gear and do it this way it won't make a difference pretty much on anything but as you can see them ones not so good so make sure you guys do obviously keep trying but like i said it's nothing to have a go all you need is a vanguard engram which you probably do have now if you're a pvp player or a gambit player this works the exact same way for each vendor so you can obviously do it this way i haven't played pvp this season to be honest but as you can see it will work with a crucible engram and a gambit engram so that is the best way to farm them at the minute if you guys are looking for a really easy way another really easy way to farm high stack gear as well but in my opinion is definitely the dungeons now the weekly dungeons such as aspire or the random one that is each week if you guys farm them you will be getting high stack gear but like i said this is one of the best ways it does go unknown i thought i would share it with you guys in today's video but try it out let me know if this video helps you to get them builds i know it has helped for a lot of my builds as well but as always if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more destiny 2 tips and i will catch you in the next one